Hello students, this lecture is an introduction to the capstone project, which is a poster design and which will cover all the graphic design fundamentals. The poster design project is a culmination of all the design tools that we have learned in the previous projects, in addition to a few new design tools that will deal more with harmony and unity of elements. The thing that makes poster design unique is that you're designing to a mobile audience. Most advertisements are handheld in some form, like a magazine, newspaper, uh, on a screen, or computer monitor, where your audience is stationary. There are normally two types of advertising that deal with a mobile audience, and they are poster design and billboard design. Research has shown that you only have about three to eight seconds to get your message to your target audience because they are either walking by your poster or driving by your billboard. This makes for an extra challenging design problem. Now, as always, uh, remember we have our three constants that are still the same, content, space, and form, but we're going to add three new components that will help make a great poster design. And they are emphasis, hierarchy, and visual flow. Emphasis being the focal point in the design the main element that will attract the attention of your specific audience and there are several methods that you can explore to achieve this such as color, scale, and placement. Hierarchy will prioritize your elements. This is where you will visually arrange all of your graphics and type to establish the importance of each element. Visual flow. This is more about the visual sequence and the order in which you will lead the viewer through the design. There are five methods you can use to achieve emphasis. Contrast, isolation, placement, hold over the part, and unity with the focal point. I have created a handout and made it available in the reading portion of the project that will elaborate more on each emphasis. The thing you want to remember when using emphasis is that you can combine them with each other and you can also combine and mix with any of the elements of design. Arranging several elements in an, in an advertisement is maintaining unity and harmony. And to help with this problem, we have the grid. A grid system is more commonly used when you have lots of elements such as headlines, photographs, illustration, and type. A good way to describe the grid uh, is that it serves like a wireframe that holds everything together. A basic grid system begins with taking your, your space, your design space, drawing in margins, and then dividing the space in half, vertically and horizontally, and then taking those halves and dividing them in half again. From there, you can make the grid as complex as you need to. These lines within the grid help align and visually hinge elements within your design space, helping to create balance, unity, harmony between all your graphics. In the project, I have provided you with a basic grid template that you will use to create your poster design thumbnails on. Very well, let's begin.